What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be wrapping up 2022 and we're gonna be talking about the best free PlayStation Plus games from this past year. Now this past year, PlayStation did rework their PS Plus uh, subscriptions and they basically combined PlayStation Plus with PlayStation Now and now with PlayStation Plus there's three tiers that you can get each tier moving up gives you a little bit more each month the first one gives you a whole catalog of PlayStation 4 and I believe some PlayStation 5 games that are included and the more expensive one includes some PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 titles. But today we're only going to be talking about if you have the basic one, which is the essential plan, and the free games that you did receive this past year each month with that plan. So let's get right into it. Up first we have Dirt 5, which... Ironically, I used to play a ton of racing games, but nowadays I don't play them as often. But this one here, since it was free, I decided to check it out because I do like the dirt track style racing. And this game here was phenomenal. I had a lot of fun playing through it. I didn't complete it yet, but it is a fun game to always go back to because you can pick off right where you left off and have an absolute blast with it. It is a super fun game. I highly recommend it. And it was awesome that it was free because otherwise, I probably would not have checked out this game. Next up is going to be UFC 4. I absolutely love this game. Now, before it became out free for PS Plus, I already owned this game. This game here is incredible. I absolutely loved it. I love the DLC that we received for free early on with Brock Lesnar and a few other characters as well and other fighters. This game here is incredible. The story is amazing. The career mode is amazing. And I love the fighting. Online, obviously, you do get some of the spamming people who just spam moves constantly. But it is overall a really, really fun fighting game. The next game is SpongeBob's Battle for Bikini Bottom. This is the rehydrated edition, which is the remastered edition. Originally, it came out for the PlayStation 2, but back then I never played it. Whenever it came out originally for the PlayStation 4, I did purchase it because it was really cheap at the time. I think there was a huge sale. But eventually, obviously, it did come to PS Plus, and people could get it for free. Now, this game here was a lot of fun. It's an open-world SpongeBob game, and anybody that's a fan of SpongeBob would absolutely love this game. All of the characters are in it, and it is a lot of fun. At times, it is a little corny, but it is a super fun game. Next up is going to be Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Now, this one here, not only do you get the PS4 version, if you are on the PS4, but you also have the PS5 version. So if you do download it later on eventually whenever you get the PlayStation 5 you can actually download the PlayStation 5 version and play that version of the game as well I absolutely loved that they came out and made a new Crash Bandicoot game but at the time that it came out I didn't purchase it because I had other games that are on my eyes that I wanted to purchase more and this game finally came out free for PS Plus which is not something I expected so I absolutely loved that they did this because this game was incredible I had a huge blast with it and it is a lot of fun next up is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 again this is one that came out for PS4 and the PS5 for free for PS Plus if you do have the PS4 version, it is a lot of fun. The PS5 version is amazing. And this game here, for somebody that used to love on the PlayStation 2, the skateboarding games, this game here is amazing. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. And it's really easy to pick up. Now, obviously, because it is the new generation of console, that it is a little bit more advanced and there's a lot more buttons to do certain tricks and stuff. But this game is incredible. It's a lot of fun and I do highly recommend. Next up is the first Little Nightmares game, which I've had since it first came out. It's a nice in my opinion, at times relaxing, but it's a super easy horror game that has a different perspective. So as you play along, whenever you get to the end, all of a sudden it twists. And at least in my opinion, when you thought you were the good person all along at the end, it's kind of a twist and you can actually see what it actually is and kind of tell that you're not really a good person in the game and you're not really the victim. So it's really incredible. It's a great story. I loved the artwork, the design, the whole concept was amazing. And the twist at the end was a lot of fun. So this game was free for PS Plus, And I absolutely love playing not only it, but also the second one that did come out. So both of them are a lot of fun. And the last game that we're going to be talking about is Need for Speed Heat. This one here again is another one that's not only if you had the subscription for PlayStation Plus, 
that you'd get the PlayStation 4 version if you're on the PlayStation 4, but you'd also get the PlayStation 5 version as well. And with that, once again, just because if you have the PlayStation 4 version right now, Later on, a couple of years, if you get the PlayStation 5, you can go and download all of these PlayStation 5 versions for free as long as you still have your PlayStation Plus subscription and you're able to play all of them on the PlayStation 5 version, which I absolutely love that PlayStation did that. So this game here is a lot of fun. I actually got it again before that it came out for free for PS Plus. I think I got it for a Black Friday deal whenever it first came out. So this game's a lot of fun with the day racing and the night racing and the fact that you have to switch between the both to not only get XP for, I believe, uh, night racing, but you also get money for the day racing. And to get both, you have to switch between night and day. Huge concepts, which I thought was a lot of fun. And with the newest one being announced and already released, I don't like the design of it. I don't like the animated features of it. So the fact that they gave this one for free for PS Plus back when they did means a lot more players are going to be playing this game. And I don't think I'm going to be getting the newest Need for Speed game because, in my opinion, it just looks terrible. I don't like the animated aspects to it and the anime aspect to it. It's just not for me, but this racing game was a lot of fun. So comment down below, out of all of the free PS Plus games, even other ones that I didn't list in this video, which one was your favorite one from 2022? And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.